what's up y'all it's your girl choochie make sure to like and comment if you like this install for a molly wig we're just gonna do a quick little install on the molly sheer muse textured series from sensational in the color number two i'm showing you the inside of the wig it has a 13 by two lace with three combs and an adjustable band in the back um this wig was a little bit too small for my head so i just cut it a little bit on the side just showing you how i did that right there and now i'm putting it on my head and we now have a perfect fit so i'm just go ahead and install it i cut the lace off camera but if you want to watch one of my other videos i'll show you how i do it and i just basically go in a jacket motion with some sharp scissors in the corner and just showing you that lace so now we are ready to install the wig i'm just going to make sure everything is fitting properly and um, i'm putting out a little bit of my baby hairs my natural baby hairs so that it can be more realistic when i am installing it and the end result will help me look like a twa tapered cut style so i'm just going to take some clips and clip my hair back i'm going to use the even wonder lace bond in supreme to adhese my lace onto my skin i feel like this one does the best job as far as like longevity it's not too um sticky and doesn't leave like a shiny residue i feel like all the other sprays like got to be or um the tresemme they make your forehead super shiny but this one does not so i'm just placing it where it needs to be and it doesn't have to like stick to your skin as long as it's you know in the right section you'll be good to go so take your edge band and you're just gonna tie it down as tight as you can and it's not hurting your ears too much and then you want to take your blow dryer and just blow along your edges to suck it into your scalp i'm taking my level 14 cream foundation from ruby kisses and getting that perfect blend if you guys wanted to go ahead and double melt after you do this you can spray it again and then melt it down again and it's just gonna mm, it's just gonna melt right into your skin but it was late at night when i did this so i just um decided that i would do the double melt in the morning and i'm just showing you guys how i blended in the lace and basically just removed that white lace and made it my exact skin color so yes this wig does have a hd lace and it's so easy to customize and is so 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 super natural you see how the how the size is blending in like that so now i'm gonna go ahead and do my baby hairs i just took out a small amount of baby hairs i feel like if you go in a c motion when you're doing your baby hairs it just gives you the perfect little bit to go ahead and cut and customize to your baby hair liking i really didn't need to put any baby hairs on this wig but when I do my regular hair out, I always do two little baby hairs. So that's what I decided to do with this install and it came out super duper cute. So after I laid my two little baby hairs down, I wanted to go ahead and do any final customization. For me, it was just cutting off some extra little hairs that got pulled out when I was plucking the front just a little bit more and the end result is so cute you guys i love this hair it's very soft the lace was very soft it's not irritable it fit perfect around my head it's big head friendly the style is so cute and natural i've been getting stopped left and right asking what products i'm using girl it's a wig it's 15 dollars, and it's at mybeautyexchange.com for 15 dollars here and after they're gone i don't think they're going to be restocking so you guys make sure to head over there like this video comment and subscribe to my channel see you soon